hi oh my god hey guys just like stabbed myself ouch anyway hello okay we got a whole lot to go through let's do this and i think to myself what a wonderful Hey guys, hi! Today we're finally doing 2021 fashion trend predictions. I love hearing about different trends and what's like gonna come and then plan how I'm gonna style it in my wardrobe and especially this year I'm really really into changing up my style. I'm not gonna lie, I'm going through like a little bit of a style crisis but it's fine, that's what trends are for. We can have fun, experiment, try some new things and hopefully find our style through that. So today is exciting. I've compiled some of my favorite things that I've been seeing on the runway and social media and all of that. And you know what I realized? Even though 2020 could have been the worst year for fashion, it kind of was one of the best. Like I saw so many people like kind of come into their own style and try new things that they never did before. Probably because they were stuck at home, but it was super fun to see all the TikTok trends and the social media things and even creative ways of showing virtual fashion weeks. It actually ended up being a super cool year for fashion, so I'm definitely excited to see what 2021 brings. And I'm excited to kind of incorporate all of these things and have fun with my style. Okay, so to start with, I think because of the pandemic, what I've seen around is a lot of the theme of nostalgia and fashion and the way people are dressing. The pandemic and lockdown definitely got people to look back to the past and the roots. That's no secret. In 2020, we saw the Y2K trend from velour tracksuits to baby tees to halter necks to even low waist jeans. It kind of took over and as you can see, I was obsessed. So the theme of nostalgia is definitely still gonna continue in 2021, but specifically the era that I think is about to shine is the 60s and the 70s. fashion on social media you've definitely seen a little bit of this already and I think a big 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 reason is Alessandro and Gucci for sure but also I've just been seeing a lot of inspiration taken from the mod looks of the 60s and the fun colors and silhouettes of the 70s which I'm so 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 excited to see more of and so there are a few different trends that come from this era that I think are gonna be huge so I'm gonna go over them quickly first of all is hair and makeup 60s more double eyelids and like colored eyeshadow and even graphic eyeliner looks have been so 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 huge even the entire curtain bang trend kind of going on right now i think is very from the 70s oh my god guys these shag miller hair style i'm pretty sure they're from the 70s too not gonna lie i've kind of been contemplating getting one even though i could never pull it off but it just looks so hot and so edgy and so cool i wish i could pull it off but Thanks to Gucci. I think the whole small, like tiny sunglasses trend, I have a feeling it's on its way out. And I've seen a lot more kind of oversized big sunglasses with like a colored glass lens frame. What is that? That thing. I think these just add such a level of like cool to all outfits. I just feel like they look a little funny but in a cool, cool way. So I'm gonna figure out how to wear it, but I think it's cool. Next up, funky prints. Oh my God. I've seen so many of these like psychedelic cool prints, very Emilio Pucci, I think I'm pronouncing his name right. But yeah, they're so, so, so fun. I've seen them especially on a lot of pants and jumpsuits, which again is like kind of the whole silhouette of that time. And I've always been a kind of person to pull away from prints, but recently I've been having a lot of fun with these. So I'm excited to like kind of include them, like pinches of these prints in my outfit. For party wear or just getting dressed up if we get back to it soon enough. I think sequins and like metallics are gonna be huge and especially in a more kind of stark way. Recently I've been seeing sequin pants or like pants sets and they look so cute. It's very Studio 54 vibes. And lastly, retro futurism. Just just look it up. If you don't know what it is, just trust me, look it up, you guys. I am obsessed with the fashion, the style, just everything about retrofuturism is so cool. Even movies inspired by this, it's just so freaking cool to me. In general, I'm just so obsessed with this era. Whether it's go-go boots, little shift dresses, jumpsuits, denim, bright colors, it's just, 
It's such a fun time. I love it. But since nostalgia is such a big theme in fashion right now, we're looking beyond just one decade. I feel like Y2K influences are here to stay, even the 90s. It's just, it's a constant thing. Gen Z just loves it. I've also seen a lot of influences from the 1800s. Blame Bridgerton or The Vampire Diaries or any other period drama, but you already know corsets took over the last year. It really was such a fun trend and I see a lot more like renaissance inspired fashion coming through. A really good designer to look at for this is Vivian Westwood. Obviously the pearl choker was such a big deal this whole year. Pretty sure this is inspired by her. She was kind of known for being like the first person who pulled from kind of the more royal renaissance looking aesthetic and mixing it with like anarchy and like the modern girl in the 90s. So I've been looking at a lot of her pieces for inspiration. A few more trends here and there from there. Even gloves, oh my god, I've seen, I don't know if this is more of just like an Instagram thing, but I've definitely picked up on so many people style gloves in such an elegant, fun way, but also very edgy and out there, and I'm, I'm super down for both. Gloves are such a fun accessory that I always overlooked, and you can do so much with it. The next trend I actually wore so much of the past year, and that's shackets. I'm sure you've seen it around, but they're basically jackets, but with a silhouette of a shirt, and they look so, so so, so cute. I'm sure you've seen the leather version of this that literally everyone has. I wear my leather shacket. <laughs> my leather shacket. I've definitely worn a lot of it. It's my favorite thing to put throw on top of everything. The next trend, I actually got put on this Memster to Harry Styles himself, the king. I actually saw this picture of him in this Isabel Morant. Um, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right. I get so conscious about pronouncing designer names. But this Isabel Morant three-piece suit that he wore, which by the way is a women's wear suit and he's just fucking slaying in it. My favorite thing about all these trends are they're literally so gender neutral. Like I really feel like this year we're just moving towards eliminating gender when it comes to fashion which is pretty freaking cool. I feel like women pulling off waistcoats with like kind of a long elongated pant or even a skirt honestly would be so hot. I am obsessed with how it looks. I've even seen a few versions of it with a corset kind of waist like under the bust corset i'm definitely gonna be buying more of these also a little bit of a pro tip when looking for stuff like this try out like amazon and more local stores because they're usually a little bit backwards with men's fashion so you 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 you'll probably find some cool pieces that you weren't expecting to velvet and velour so velvet i feel like has been in and out for the past few years and seasons but i have been so 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 into velour recently Probably because of the Zara app, every time I go on there, they have the most gorgeous velvet sets and they look so comfy but rich and fancy at the same time, if that makes sense. You're staying at home so much, like you want to be comfy but you also like don't want to look like a freaking homeless person all the time. I've seen a lot of these cool textures with Valor which adds a little bit of dimension and you can style it in really cool ways. Let's get into colour a little bit since velvet has been so huge. I feel like that kind of material and texture goes really well with kind of deep jewel tones which also I've seen a lot of like deep purples, greens, maroons. I also put this in my trend analysis report and ever since I've been noticing it a lot more but also bright colors like this kind of flamingo pink it just makes me so happy. I was the biggest hater of hot pink for the longest time but recently I've just seen the coolest clothing in this color and it's making me fall in love with it. It's so bright, it's so happy, it's so energetic and I honestly just want more of it in my closet. And then a few other colours I quickly want to mention is this kind of tangy green. I used to think this colour is so ugly but as you can see I've, I've fallen prey, I love it. And then also just a lot of like bright pastels. Dressing like a kid just makes your inner self happy and I'm always gonna be for it so. What's next? Oh, knitwear. Holy shit you guys. We kind of killed it with knitwear this past season and it's so cool because anything knit is already like so freaking comfy but okay that's so much I want to talk about for this. First off, we need to take a moment for the king, Jacquemus himself because he's the one who got me into it. Everything ribbed, knit, kind of in like a monochrome, monochromatic sense is just so classy and chill. It makes me want to be in the south of France summer just having a fun time. 
soon, hopefully. So I've been buying a lot of rib knit sets, especially on Zara. I've seen a lot of them, so check that out. But even moving on, I have seen the cutest fucking jumpers. You know the ones I'm talking about, whether it's on House of Sunny or ASOS. These cool little, kind of like child-like painting designs. Clouds, flowers, little sunsets. It just, it, it looks so cute. I've even seen a lot of small brands like come up with really cute and unique stuff. This is another trend TikTok really pushed and it really elevates people's outfits. But I've also seen a lot of edgy versions of knitwear. The recent Wettermonts collection, I feel like they did such a cool, this dress. I'm just, this is the dress I'm talking about because I don't know how they did that. But it, it looks so freaking cool. It's kind of like a moss print going through the knit. But in this really cool electric blue, this dress has been living in my mind rent free. Oh my god, can we talk about layering? I feel like layering is a cheat code to making any outfit just 100 times cooler. I mean, think about it. Like, if you see any runway, they basically just like layer a bunch of stuff on top of each other and it looks 100 times cooler. Even on TikTok, I've just noticed like so many people with the coolest outfits, it's just because they're wearing like five pieces together and they've it just like all goes so well together. So, extreme layering is something I'm definitely getting a lot into. Even though I live in Mumbai, I don't exactly know how that's gonna go. We we're gonna figure it out. Okay, I am just tired of talking now, but there's so many more trends I wanna get into. Okay, let's do this quick. Next up, since we weren't layering, I have been seeing so much of this lately and that's colored stocking. Okay, okay, hear me out. This is not me trying to bring back the dresses on top of jeans trend from the 2000s, not at all. Sheer little colored or printed stockings under color blocked or like solid color dresses or skirts or anything like that okay i'm just gonna let the pictures do the talking because tell me that just doesn't look so cute like imagine okay i want you to think of an outfit and then i want you to think of a sheer stocking of a color matching that outfit under it tell me it doesn't make it cute all. the only thing is i have only been able to find small little european brands to buy this from and I don't really trust them that much just because Indian customs, small European brands, it just like is a mm, shaky round, you know what I mean? Oh, tie up pants and tops. You know, you know the strings that go all the way here. Very IMG up, but there's something about that that just makes, I don't know, it's very flattering to the body. It, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the Y2K thong trend, which is not as scandalous. It's just a lot of asymmetry. I am a huge, huge, huge supporter of asymmetry and mismatching things. You guys already know, I this is the first time in probably a year my earrings are matching, but they never are. Something about doing things wrong that makes it so much more fun. And clothing, asymmetry, just weird cuts, like over here and like here. You know, I don't know, dresses with like cool little cutouts are just superior. I oh my God, I feel like I've been talking forever. Let's wrap it up. But before I do, let's talk about some trends from 2020 that I really, really want to like carry over and I love, so I'm not gonna stop wearing. First up, ruched dresses. These are the most flattering things in the world. I feel like everyone needs to own these. It is my go-to every time, any time I need to go out. Leather and vinyl, everything. Okay, I am, it's no secret, I am obsessed for leather and vinyl. It's just so much hotter, so much cooler, so much edgier. Square toe heels and boots. I think a square toe is so sexy. Like point toe heels? No, bye. Who are you? Round? Ew. Oh, leave. We're all about the square. It's just... So chic, so amazing, so YSL. Okay, second skin tops. This is something I definitely saw a lot of this year. Mesh, like high neck tops, you know the ones I'm talking about. I'm really excited to get some and uh, again, cool funky prints. If you saw the recent Prada menswear show, it was the first show with Raf Simmons. They actually did a lot of the second skin tops and they did it in such a classic Prada way that I fell in love. I've definitely seen this more of as a IG baddie trend, but seeing it on that runway kind of gave me a new perspective. This, I will not allow this trend to go away, and even if it goes away, it's never leaving my closet, and that's two-piece sets. Now we're evolving into three-piece sets, and even four-piece sets, but matching sets, they are so convenient, they're so cute. They're just my favorite thing in the world. Yep, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I think I kind of messed up this whole video because I'm so out of it. I don't even know what I said, but I spoke a lot. So I hope I got across everything I Whoa. wanted to say. If I missed out any trends that you think I should get on, leave them in the comments below. Let me know what you're excited to wear. And yeah, be sure to like, comment, subscribe and everything. 
and I'm gonna go to sleep now. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I have so much work to do. Anyway, thank you. Bye. I'm losing my voice because I've spoken so much. It's about to get hot. Also kind of space age retrofuturism. Oh my god, look at us mixing all the trends. I love it. I want to sneeze.